Thanks, Joyce. Now, the best part of my job, there are many really good parts of this job, trust me, but the best part of my job is actually to sit back and think about with my team, with our clients, with our colleagues, our partners, what the possibilities are of Watson. I talked earlier uh, about education. Right? I talked about the importance of developing skills uh, in the market for cognitive computing. But that, that's a statement that's not limited to cognitive computing. That's a statement that is necessary for the coming digital economy that all of our children are going to have to live within. Uh, there is no greater um, need. We've talked about the health of our citizens, but also the education of our citizens. As the father of two college students and soon to be a third, um, this is something that I am very, very focused on uh, as I study where they're going to school, the kinds of education they're going to have. Um, I'd like to introduce now the Vice Chancellor of Deakin University in Australia, Jane Den Hollander. Ladies and gentlemen, Deakin University in Australia is a young university. We turned 40 this year. We rank in the top 3% of the three most significant world ranking systems, and we are in the top 50 of universities under 50 years old. So we have research credentials. We have almost 50,000 students, and around one third of our students study solely in the cloud, as we say, or online, if you're still in 20th century language. Students come to Deakin from 127 countries. We are a complex place, we have diversity, we have culture, and we have different ways of learning. We have been number one for student learning satisfaction in our state for the last four years, an outcome of which we are proud, but which drives most of what we do in the student experience. Our teaching credentials are currently excellent. So our story is that from a distance education on a greenfield site 40 years ago, evolving to driving the digital frontier today, using the power and reach of the digital age to enable and benefit our students. Innovation is our value. In 2014, what we know for sure is that across the globe, time is running out on the traditional university models. Why is this, you might ask? Well, from my perspective, firstly, higher education markets today are global and fiercely competitive. For example, the rising economies of the East are investing for the first time very strongly in higher education. The majority of the world's enrolment over the next decade will be in Asia. Secondly, university populations are larger. They are certainly much more diverse both because of the success of the widening access and participation policies globally and because in an era of lifelong learning, students will re-enter education again and again. A job for a lifetime it no longer lasts a lifetime. But the final and most perhaps most significant challenge for us is the emergence of this digital economy and the spectacular opportunities it brings through disruption of the status quo. No business, as we've heard, is secure. Universities are no longer the exception. Technology has changed forever the way we interact, the way we engage, and of course, how we communicate. Our thumbs are stronger, our attention spans are shorter, and we can always be mentally and digitally someplace other than where we actually are. So stop reading your email and listen for a minute. <laughs> the internet is now the primary platform for information exchange. Consumers of data are no longer passive observers, but becoming active contributors who co-create knowledge, evolve markets, influence governments, create wealth, make jobs. The relationship between teacher and learner, where I am, has changed irrevocably in the, area, in the er era of co-creation. We all now live in a world of bring your own device, DIY learning. Is there an app for that, for that? Our students ask every day. We can talk with, we can compare, or simply offer an opinion on absolutely anything at all, when we want and where we want. Our ever-evolving technology landscape, particularly in higher education, is breathtaking. The opportunities are extraordinary. 
This is why Deacon was so intrigued to become involved in the world of IBM Watson. Universities continue to be unique global institutions, precious, assemblers of great talent, ideas factories where passion, creativity and idealism blend with discipline, depth and breadth to solve the world's most wicked problems and, of course, educate the next generation, Mike's children. Our digital world now has oceans upon oceans of data, streaming relentlessly every minute from every phone, every website and application across the globe into our respective domains. The question for us is how do we harness this flow for good? Learning is core to Deakin, and IBM Watson will help our students find the right advice quickly and easily, just in time, just for me, any time, anywhere, any device. Does this sound familiar? It's your average under 30-year-old today. IBM Watson will help Deakin personalise the student experience in ways that we did not think was possible. The Student Engagement Advisor, powered by IBM Watson, will add a contemporary, real-time addition to our personalisation of our Australian student experience. We ensure we delight our students by knowing who they are and what they need, and we now need to start tailoring the information and the answers they need accordingly. The genius of this cognitive aspect of Watson is that it learns from the questions and the data it has access to. This means we all learn. And when you consider that many of us don't know what we don't know, it means that IBM Watson gives us the power to grow in sophistication and depth. It means our students have the very best advice at their fingertips, 24-7, 365. So why are we doing this? Because we know, we know at Deakin that 99% of our students University is a train stop on a journey somewhere else. Mostly that journey is to jobs. Employability of graduates in this decade is fundamental. In a technology landscape that is evolving impossibly quickly, IBM and Deakin will be working together to look at new ways to help prepare our students for lives and careers that we can barely begin to imagine here this morning. We are pushing the boundaries on campus and in the cloud because we want to explore tools that will make the student experience engaging, efficient, effective. IBM Watson ticks all of those boxes for us. But looking up and over the horizon, there's much more at stake. While it's impossible to predict what the education, teaching and learning experience will look like in 10 or 20 years from now, we know change will be a constant factor and educators generally will need to think beyond traditional models if they wish to thrive and survive. There are some things we can predict already. I think students, not institutions, will be at the centre of learning and education customised to their particular need and aligned to their education journey. We will definitely have more just-in-time learning disaggregated from the traditional degree structures, meeting the needs of immediate workplace challenges, immediate global problems that require our attention now. And so, in late 2014, little appears certain except for change. The dynamics are complex, ambiguous, unpredictable. But at Deakin, we see the great opportunity that the disruption brings with it. New ideas, new wealth new jobs. Being the first university in the world to, to recruit Watson into this role of advisor keeps Deakin at the forefront of the digital frontier and it will certainly, is certainly, delighting our students and our staff. Deakin's promise is to deliver students a brilliant education where they are for the jobs of their future. The student engagement advisor powered by IBM Watson is therefore exactly the partner Deacon wants on this journey. To the IBM Watson team, Mike, to Jay Bellissimo, to your colleagues, to my Deacon colleagues back in Victoria who've worked so hard on this, I say bravo. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening.